We are in the Amstel Gold. This is the last 10K. It's 2019 Amstel Gold. We have a chase group here. Let's work out what's going on in the race. All right, this is the end of the race. And these guys are the pick of the bunch. They've had the best luck, least flat tires. They've got the good blood volume. They're hydrated. They're well carved up. All these guys are smashing in the sugar. They're just smashing in the sugar. Because to ride at these 400, 450 watt, you've got to be smashing the sugar in. Yeah. Because if you run out of sugars, bang. Your watts drop down to 200 watts and you're out the ass. So these are professional riders. They've got Fool's Gang, got Alaphilippe on the tarmac. And he's on the Argon 18 rim brake. And so you can see different styles there out the saddle. My money for this would be, looking at the face there, my money would be on uh, Fool's Gang there, the Dane, the Big Dane. And uh, Alaphilippe, Cadence still very good. Still physiologically looking good. His face f uh, flexing, foxing maybe. He's rolling a bit on the bike. Maybe he's foxing. Maybe he is foxing though. You never know with the old French. He looks pretty fresh doing his jersey like that. And he's just, you know, he closes the gap a little bit slow. Fool's going, pushing very hard, doing a lot of turns here, it looks like. Look at the cadences. Look at those cadences. They've been watching during Riders' videos. Or they've been talking to Dr. Ferrari. And uh, the uh, race comment says, like, yeah, good work, mate. Doing Riders making a video of this. Look good. Jersey zipped up. I'm going to impress Duran Rider. Cadence, cadence, cadence. And cadence. So where's all the haters now? Look at look at Vanderpool in the front. Nason. A lot of rider FDJ. Look at the cadences, all these riders. Look at Vanderpool's cadence. He's the Dutch champion. He's a twenty four year old apparently. And just coming into the pro Peloton and looking making look everyone look at amateurs. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. We have Kiyokoski and Trenton here. More cadence at the front. Everyone's spinning these days, aren't they? Where are the haters now? Where are the grinders now? So we see the the pros here taking in water, taking in sugar water. They would have sugar water in their bottles there in the form of Gatorade sports drink, which is just sugar, salt, and water. Some more. This is the professional. This is between the professionals and amateurs. Amateurs be like, oh, I'm always at the end. I'll drink later. The pros are like, no, no. Every second matters. Every watt matters. Five, ten watts loss. It matters. Oh, is there an attack here? Oh, gee, look at that. Springer. Springer Spaniel. Oh, Ala Philippe closing the gap pretty good. That's a good ten second. 11 second. That's a good attack. He's in the slipstream now. He puts his head down. Oh, he sits up. This is where a mirror is really good to go. A mirror saves a lot of energy here. He's looking back. Looking back is not a good idea because it's not only is it dangerous, and he's going to get the motorbike draft there. He's looking for that. Oh, that's a blistering. Alaphilippe was onto that pretty quickly. So for me, the Alaphilippe physiology, he's very lucid. He's very, very lucid. He's very attentive. And then these guys are starting to fox, which is not a good idea. This is like Lance Armstrong, Eric Decker, 2001, which we'll get to that after this video. And these guys, you know, they're foxing a bit, but they only got 40 seconds, you know, so there's not much behind. Anything could happen here. I'll be working together, doing that attack. It, you know, I'm not sure exactly the politics going on in between these two, but just tactically speaking, from an outside perspective, looking in, this isn't the time to be playing games. And they're talking, and there's like a bit of shit soaring. And Father says, come on, mate. I want to fucking have a big baguette tonight. I want to earn my calories. Come on. I've got a hot French podium girl waiting for you. Work with me, motherfucker. Work with me. we got Trenton and Kiyowski. Look at that. Similar physiology. And uh, Trenton's a little, a little bit heavier in the drops. And Kiyowski balance on the bars. They're pretty precarious. We've got Simon Clark and Richie Port. Uh, in the uh, chase group there. So we have five riders. Look at swapping off turns really good. Got a little echelon going on here. Well, it's not an echelon, but it sort of looks like one. They're swapping off really good. It's like a team pursuit right now. So they, these guys are working really good. The motivation the, will be quite high. The vibes will be going up. The testosterone will be going up because they're working together. It's like a team, team vibe going on there. These guys here, there's a little bit of bitchiness going on. I can feel the vibe. It's sort of starting to work again. But there's, they lost a little bit, didn't they? They lost a bit of bit of vibe there you know it was a bit like you do this no you do this it was, you know it wasn't full commitment I started to play around a bit and that that was going to cost him the race so Philippe sitting in the in the uh, the uh, up in the hoods there full skiing in the drops look at physiology looking really 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 comfortable full skiing his neck is a little bit higher he just looks a bit more relaxed Ala Philippe got the technical skill there 
we have Sky and uh, Oracle Green Edge, Matt White on the phone saying, come on, cunt, keep pushing, cunt. And uh, Chris Froome probably in the earpiece of Kiwoski as well saying, spin, spin, doing what daddy's watching. So we have Richie Port here, Simon Clark, the Tasmanians, and the Victorians, I should say. Look at the look at the cadence. Oh, look at that cadence of Clark. Look at that. Look at that cadence. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Look at that cadence, eh? Spin it. Actually, that's Bork and Bolomer. My mistake. Not Richie Port. Same, same team, same bike, similar sort of physique. Lightweight, lean GC riders. And look at the cadence. Oh, they're going to get caught. Here we go. Look at Vanderpool driving, driving this fucking train. Look at this. This is the fucking Dutch train. Holy shit. <laughs> Straight past them. Not even going to get on the wheel. Not even going to get on the wheel, mate. Not even going to get on Kowalski's wheel. Holy shit. He's just going to get... He's going to let Linda Kowalski just sit there on the side of the road. He's just... You know what I mean? A Vanderpool, mate. Holy shit. MVP indeed. Wow. Most very important Peloton member. And here we go. They're easing up here. Looks This watts has dropped. They're probably doing about... Mm, 350 watts now. It seems like a little bit less. Just the way you throw this water bottle. It's like, yep. I can say 350, 370 watts here. Just look, just judging how poised they are. Looking back, they just, they just, they're just tempoing it on the flats. 350, 400. Well, here we go. Here we go. Looks like, yep. A bit more of a test here. You can sort of, you can sort of feel the tension in, uh, in full skiing's upper body. Just how he moves the bike. You feel the watts is going up. Alan Philippe's looking back. Now he's going to push a bit harder. And here we have... Oh, there's a bit of a bridge here. We've got another tarmac disc brake bike. Come on, guys. Are you guys got any uh, spare axle? My fucking disc rubbing again. This is Sh Shaxman. Hey, there's a Shaxman here. Uh, disc brake rubbing. Come on. Kuyavaski. No. Come on, come back. Fix my disc brake. And uh, he's, <laughs> that's a bad fucking accent. Wasn't it? That's pretty poor. Yeah. Fifth Philippe flip of the elbow there, and uh, Force goes, Oh no, mate, oh, gotta do my shoes up, eh? I <laughs> gotta do the shoes, bro. I better fucking sprint past you, motherfucker. Remember uh, Strata Bianchi? Yeah, bitch, is coming for you. And look at that Vanderpool on the front, holy shit, stringing out these guys. So Mo Molomer and Simon Clark have been caught. Look at that, mate. Vanderpool's like that dude who turns up to the Wednesday World's morning ride and just totally smokes everyone. These guys are all amateurs on the back. Look at that. All over the bike, bulky Molomer, bulking over the bike there. Jesus, we get some time splits here. Looks like, and uh, a bit of foxing going on here. Alan is like, nah, mate, my batter, battered baguette is ain't gonna happen right now. And Fool's game looks very, very fresh, very fresh. He let a little gap open there. He knows he can close it. Fool's going, my money's on him. My money's on him. He looks the fresher of the riders. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's riders coming up very, very fast. And that looks like Kiyakowski. Oh, coming up very, very fast. These guys are f foxing in uh, these windy roads. You can, oh, look at that. You can't see them, can you? Look, there's no mirror there. There's the guys that don't have a mirror. They're talking to each other. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's where the mirror. This is where the mirror could have been handy. There's a draft on the motorbike. He's going to hit him. Oh, they oh, that's where the mirror. These guys lost the race, mate. They were foxing, no mirror. And look at Vanderpoel's driving the pace. If anyone's ridden on the flat hard, this is a mutant ride. This is, they shouldn't call him Matthew. They should call him mutant Vanderpoel. <laughs> look at that. He's driving the pack. Look at this. He's driving, he's swinging all over the road, taking the long way. He's zigzagging around, taking the long way. You know what I mean? Looking back over his shoulder. This is mutant. This is fucking mutant. Looking back, cutting his breathing. Or well, he needs his little mirror. This is mutant level. This is mutant Mutant riding. Look at that. He's going to go for the sprint. Holy shit. Look at that. Mutant Vanderpoel. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Smoking him. Still has the lucidity to put his hand on his head. Simon Clark taps on the shoulder and goes, mate, good work. Thanks a second. Thanks for dragging me up. And then he's just going to skid and he drops the bike. Watch the derail hanger. He's like, no, I'm going to get my white nicks dirty. I'm going to check on eBay later on tonight. And there you go. It's a disc brake bike. So he's got a heavy bike, a slow bike, and he still destroyed the peloton like that. That is insane. That is mutant. Mutant level. He's 24-year-old to have that level of fitness. That's mutant. 
mutant Vanderpol heavy disc brake bike chasing the peloton, leading up the sprint, winning. I should say chasing the breakaway. And he's chasing some star riders. Ala Philippe, Kiowski, you know, Fools Gang. And he's just smashed them all in the sprint, mate. Tall, skinny Dutchman. Look how skinny he is. You know? This is like Eric Decker, Lance Armstrong. Destroyed him, mate. On the ground. He's not even red faced. He looks fresh as. Oh, he's waiting for a gobby or something. What's, what's he doing with his legs spread? <laughs> That's what my cat does. Jesus. Oh, he's picking up the bike. He's got a sports drink there. Water and sugar. Wow, he's going to give him sugar? Shouldn't give him sugar. Should give him oil, eh? He's got a laser Z1 helmet. Got one of those coming soon. It's a bit of a hug there for the for his male friend. And he's gonna get down, he's gonna go he's gonna he's gonna get the party started. Looks like he's getting his head down low. And there's a microphone there, so how's the arm mutant? Mutant vandal. And there's a little bit of salt patches on his arm, but you can see he's got some pretty good conditioning. Not much salt patches there at all, which means he's just very, 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 very well hydrated, very well conditioned. Um yeah, well, interesting stuff. I think laser helmets are going to get more popular after this. Mutant Vanderpol. I think that is an applicable name there. Um, so very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. That is... Uh, I don't think I've ever seen... Have you ever seen anything like that? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. <laughs> it's a tall, skinny dude doing a team pursuit and then doing a, an Alessandro or a Pakataki Look at that. He, he's looking over his shoulder as well. And he's zig, taking a long way around. He's zigzagging. He's taking, a, yeah, he's taking a long way around. Not not direct straight line. He's sort of zigzagging a bit. Up to the left. Now he's going to go for it. He opens up the sprint. Closes the gap. Ooh, Simon Clark did a good job there. Simon Clark did a great job just holding the wheel. And then he's just going for it under his shoulder. He still had time to look back as well. Oh my god. That's some confidence there. Looking under your... Sh like, imagine if, imagine if this guy had a mirror and rim brakes. People say, oh, the whole, what are you on about, mate? He won the race. He won the race. Yeah, but he, imagine the gap he would have won if he had rim brakes and a mirror. Imagine full skiing. He would have won the race if he had a mirror. He would have been able to see what's going on. You know, they relied on dodgy time checks. So there was more to the story in this race. Um, but still, mutant, you know, you can't, you can't be letting Mutant Vanderpoel... Yeah, you can't keep the pressure on. You keep the put watts on. You let mutant Vanderpol catch up. What's he spitting out already? These guys are spitting on the swallow. And uh, so yeah, that's anyway. That's the deal there. He's got the big bodyguard, full Nate Bra bodyguard, telling him which way to go. And uh, looks very fresh, and he? he's got his shoulders aren't even that stooped. This TV camera man is doing a pretty good job. He's just still riding the bike. So guys, I'm gonna do a cool down. Well, for Strava. Interestingly enough, I went to Strava today. Look up this uh, mutant Vanderpol. There's no, there's no Strava uploads since uh, 2018. So there we go. The uh, cameraman saying no, so mate, private. Is we just look at this one more time, and uh, we're gonna see that. You know, they're looking back. All these, what's with the look backs in 2019? It's, everyone's looking back, mate. Get a fucking mirror on your bike. Get a Cat Eye BM45. Stop looking back, mate. It's so dangerous. Can't breathe properly. Jesus, man. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Vanderpoel, look at Vanderpoel, look at that. Mutant Vanderpoel, out the saddle. He's still at the saddle now. So this is like a 10 second sprint. Out the saddle, holy shit. Look at the cadence. Simon Clark matching the cadence there almost. That was about a 13 second sprint. Holy shit. <laughs> So sitting in the saddle, driving it, and then finish with a 13 second sprint out the saddle, all over the road. Holy shit, that's impressive, isn't it? Simon Clark's on a good run. He's got some good carbs in the legs. Again, this is what comes down to carbohydrate. Fool's going, oh, very, very close, but no banana. Very, very close, but no banana. See, I told you Fool's going was going to be good. Look at how fresh he looks, you know? If you look fresh end of the race, you do really well at maintaining your hydration, your pacing, and your glycogen expenditure. That's really good. And in glycogen, yeah, muscle intake. Uh, sorry, muscle glycogen sparing. But I consume enough simple sugars. 
during the event. It's white shoes for the wind. And these guys are wearing gloves. Why are they wearing gloves? Just trolling there. But anyway, so that's Van der Poel. He doesn't mind. Getting the leg spread to the white nicks. It's all good. He did a good show, though, making himself look tired. But he's not really tired. He's just like, holy shit, I just fucking don't make it too obvious. That's an old castle there, an old Dutch castle. It's like someone had a bit of gas there and blew the roof off the place. Anyway, so that's the uh, that's the uh, finishing. Van der Polk, Simon Clark, Jacob Fools gang, Alaphilippe, Satchman, Borg, Lambrecht, Demarchi, and uh, Valentin Madus, Roman Bardet, and Matteo Trentin. So some teams there. We uh, are new teams. Very, 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 very interesting. Astana still representing. Anyway, that's the highlights. That's the last 10K. How the race was won. Carbs, cadence, and never give up. He's on the phone already. What's he, who's he talking to? How skinny is, mate? <laughs> skinny sprinter. Look at that skinny face. So that's another thing. You don't, see, don't, you don't really see many pros with the lean face like that maybe Chris Froome but it's interesting isn't it his face very very skinny there's a few reasons for that we'll get into that next video anyway hope you enjoyed that Mutant Vanderpump